Hi folks, welcome to another video. This one's actually going to be a proper video. We're going to do some actual real work for a change instead of just moving tools and toolbox chooses and stuff or little vlogs. Um, yeah, before we get into the video, can you do me a favour? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're informed of all my videos as and when they're put up. Also, can you have a look in the description? You know, um, there's a few channel links to a few of my good friends. You know, we all do sort of different things. We try and help each other out. So go check them out. Go show them some love. Um, also in the description, um, have a look at my uh, merch store. It's a Teespring store. Uh, we've, we've got um, T-shirts, hoodies, mugs, all sorts of products in, in varying different colours. So go check that out and, and support me as much as you can, please. Um, now we've got all that out of the way, let's actually get into the video and I'll show you what we're actually up to today. There we go. We've got a, a nice little transit. Now, the owner of this is actually uh, the same owner of the uh, grey RS Turbo. But he wanted to get this done before we get the RS Turbo in. Plus, he's, he's still taking the engine out of it at the minute. But the issue is, it's got a little bit of rust coming through. It's only, it seems to be only surface rust at the minute, but you know these things rot from the inside out. So I've got a new seal for it. I've got a galvanised one, so it should, should help. And then we're going to clean it up. He did have uh, somebody paint this a little while ago, but it's just come straight back. And he's brought it back to me because I actually replaced this bit uh, last year, and I painted all this in, and he, he's more than happy with it. Yeah, it, it, this this wasn't rotten. What had happened is he, he jacked it up here and crushed it all up. So it's had a new section in there and you know treated all all the way I normally do. So we're going to do the same here. I like say it's not actually rotten. It's actually fairly solid. We could clean it up and sort of do it, but like I said, these rot from the inside out. So for the cost of these seals, they're only about forty quid. You know, for a galvanised one. So we'll just swap it out. We'll treat it all inside and outside. And then get it painted as you can see you know it's not too bad but you know it does it wants the dressing sort of sooner rather than later he likes the van he wants to keep it um he does window fitting and stuff so he wants his van to look tidy you know it's, it's advertising his business um i'm not sure whether this is going to be like a one part but quite a long video or, or a two part we'll see how it sort of pans out um obviously i can't film on my phone and um i've lent somebody my tripod for my dslr so i'm going to set up the gopro i don't know how, how good the footage will be um, I'll set it up and we'll, we'll just sort of play it by ear. You know, if you see the GoPro footage in it, up with me working, happy days. If not, I'll just sort of show you on the phone again. So, I'm going to crack on, get it all cleaned up. So, the seals on these are actually really, really easy to get to. They just literally go on that lip there and then under there. That's all it is. It's nothing, there's nothing really complicated about it at all. <coughs> the main issues are. Is it sort of tucks up under there and tucks up under there you know i can see all the spot welds and it would be nice to just sort of drill them out and sort of get to them but to make my life easier i'm actually going to dissect it i'm going to sort of run the grinder all the way across there i'd actually love to use my plasma cutter but i can't be bothered to set it up it's just going to be just as quick to get get the grinder on this run that straight across there and we'll cut it there same underneath then i can take off the the spot welds and then I can sort of dissect this bit get all of that from sorry get all that from under there clean this little piece up as well and then the same on that edge there there you go good little calf and you can see what I mean now these sort of rot from the inside you've got a drainage there that comes through here and it's supposed to drain out of there there's a little and they just fill up with, with crap so, this one isn't too bad, oh shit. This one isn't too bad, we'll clean all this up. And uh, we'll get some nice etch primer on that. Uh, the only thing that has annoyed me, which I didn't actually notice before, because of the way these sort of go together, is this is actually for the wrong fucking side. You know, it's for uh, a left hooker. I'm gonna slide in door on the other side. So, we'll have to, uh, do some modifications and make it work luckily this was good enough i don't have to worry too much but yeah it's annoyed me a little bit you can see like, that little recess there i thought it was something to do with this because of the way this sort of joins in but on this side you can actually see that that little lumpy bumpy there 
So yeah, this is definitely the wrong side. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll endeavour to continue. So I'll get all this off now. Um, again, the GoPro won't sort of get in the way here. So the way I'm going to do it is just use. Um, you've seen it before. Just use the die grinder and just take them off, take the tops off. I can get all of this off pretty quickly, and then we'll clean all this up and get it all primed. Right, so got all the uh, tabs off and cleaned up. It's an absolute fucking ball ache doing that. I was using the uh, the die grinder. And my compressor's playing up, so it just took forever. I had to keep stopping and starting and stopping and starting. But anyway, we're digressing a little bit. So need to start lining this up. Uh, the problem is, like I said to you, it's it's actually the wrong side. Um, I've spoke to the, the owner about it and he, he, he's not too worried about originality or anything else. So the plan is, at the minute, we're going to trim this sort of flange off here. So then that's it's in there nice. So that'll sit in there nicely. And then I'll trim all this up and then I'll trim all this up. And then I'll butt weld it into the, the actual frame. Yeah, you know, these were designed this way, you know, because it's easier to spot weld everything. But I'll do the same at the back here as well. I'll uh, I'll chop all this out, clean all this up, and then butt weld in there. And then it has these uh, supposed to have these seams here. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna weld it all the way through, clean it up, then stone chip it. You'll never ever see it. So that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get all this sort of trimmed up, cleaned up, clean all this up in here. This isn't too bad. I'm just going to wire brush this, uh, get all all this surface rust off, etch prime it, and then uh, we'll be ready to to crack on. All right. So everything's cleaned up, etch primed. I've trimmed all the edges. You know, straight round, straight round. We've got the seal. It's a pain in the ass today. See, we've got the sill fitting in nicely. Obviously, I'm only, only holding it with one hand. There's a little bit that I need to sort out here, but it was rusty around there, so I'll make a little play for that. But it's all cleaned up, etch primed in here. Although this is uh, galvanized, fuck's sake, wrong right. Although this is galvanized, um, you know, I've primed it as well. That's why it's scratching off because it's galvanized. Um, yeah, but it's it's decent primer. This is etch primer. It, this etch primer is supposed to stick to gal galvanized metal, but I don't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's galvanized and it's adding extra protection. Um, I've clean. I've took the door off now, so I can actually get into the things properly. I like to use my jack. I, I was trying to get some mates to come around and help, but nobody decided to turn up. So, I have cleaned all that up. It looks a bit red on the uh, camera, but I have used the wire brush in there and that's pretty good. So, that'll be fine. Still need to do in there. So, yeah, it's literally seven o'clock at night. I'm gonna call it a night for, for now. Um, just, it's getting cold and, I mean, I'd like to get this welded on tonight. But the problem is the wind's picked up a little bit and then you know it's just gonna blow the gas away I'm not gonna be able to do it so if I get here first thing in the morning I can get this welded get all that cleaned out get some extra primer in that and that welded up and then I'll have this all painted tomorrow so uh, I'm gonna do this as a two-part so I'll call it a night for now um, yeah as I said at the top of the video please uh, subscribe to the channel please give me a thumbs up please uh, hit the notification bell on the uh, uh, yeah just please hit the notification bell so you're informed of all the videos that I'm doing and um, have a look in the description you know try and support me on patreon if the, the best that you can uh, have a look at my friends as well they, they, they do amazing stuff so I'll uh, I'll see you for uh, part two tomorrow okay to that